We would try to work it out Every day was cheat day Remember we were up in Philly He told me you don't like cheese steaks 600,000 Dream Crew members 600,000 subscribers Thank you guys so freaking much We are 400,000 subscribers away from how many? 1 million 1 million subscribers Oh my god guys This is insane I didn't even realize we were gonna hit that today Until I woke up this morning And I saw a few tweets of people saying we were super close Man, this is just freaking incredible. And on top of that, I'm currently doing the Yeezy giveaway because as you guys can see, Lady Gaga's performing, which means it's the halftime show, which means I'm doing the Yeezy giveaway. And this is literally insane because in how many minutes? 11 minutes, we got 11,000 retweets. 11,000 retweets and I gained like 10,000 new Twitter followers, which is crazy. Like we're literally about to hit 100K Twitter followers, which is freaking insane to me. And then on my end, while I wait for the contest to end, I go to adidas.com because I really want to get the silver ultra boost. But unfortunately, they sold out before they even went live. And it was a pre-order, which I don't understand. Like how does a pre-order sell out? Go to 10 and a half, click I am not a robot. You gotta do this BS. Okay, good, I am not a robot. Pre-order and no more sizes available. Oh, this is not even the freaking ultra boost. This is the, the freaking football cleat. Let's try this one too, 10 and a half. What do I gotta do to prove I'm not a robot? Bruh. Oh my god, what is this? This is the first time this popped up. No. Bruh. Oh my god. It's loading. Bruh. What does that mean? What does this mean? Bruh. Like now it's great. Now I can't even freaking select the size. It's sold out officially. Guys, thumbs up if you think Migos should have been the halftime Super Bowl show. That would have been way more lit than Lady Gaga, to be honest. Lady Gaga, like, I don't even, does she still make music? This has been my project since yesterday, reorganizing all my sneakers on my sneaker wall. I haven't started yet today, but I am about to start. Yesterday, me and Ahmed filmed our first non-official gaming video. For the first time, we actually recorded the screenplay and we recorded ourselves. And this is just a sample of our gaming channel that is going to be coming soon. There's no date and I'll explain more about it later but this is a clip from yesterday of us playing. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt because I slept in this. I haven't left my house which means I haven't showered yet. I know it's kind of disgusting but let me know what you guys think. Do you enjoy the gaming stuff or do you just think it's whack and boring? Let me know. It's the first time for everything so here's our first gaming video. Alright guys, so we are actually about to play some games right now. Like we've been telling you, me and Ahmed are going to start our gaming channel but we kind of want to get a rhythm of playing video games and setting everything up, but we took our first step. We actually created the channel. Yeah. So if anybody wants to actually go subscribe and be one of the first subscribers on that channel, we'll put it in the description box down below. We're not, we don't plan, we don't have a date to upload yet, but just in case just you guys like are having this, like our hobby, like having fun, like getting dabbling games, get some wrestling games, you know, some shooting games, just like just us, you know, gaming. We're not gonna promote it heavy every day on social media and things like that. We don't know when it's gonna start, but if you wanna be one of the first people to subscribe to the channel, it's in the description box down below. We are gonna do a little bit of gaming right now, so let's just get a little sample, I guess. Guys, buddy, check me on the, catch me on the sticks. Bruh. Oh, I'm about to bake this boy like a, a bakery on Thursday. Okay, what are we, what are we working with? No screen watching either. Yeah, I know. You are such a screen watcher. I know you do. Oh, I feel like you're right behind I you. I can hear your steps. This is so intense. Dude, my eyes tweaking. I don't know why. The first kill is always like nerve wracking. Oh. Where are you? Why are you hiding? I'm not hiding, bro. I'm trying to plot on your ass. Dude, how have we not ran into you? Bruh. This is the first title. Dude, we've probably crossed paths like, like a couple what? times. It's because this is a short map, dude. No! Ah! Woo! First love, baby. That's how you do it real quick. That's how you do it real quick. Yeah, yay! Damn, I scream too loud. My freaking stitches are going to come out. Oh, shit. Oh, hell yeah. Call me two times. I didn't even see my you. Weapon. I didn't even see you. I just jumped up and I was like, yo, what the hell? Damn, where the f are you? I don't know. Oh! Let's go, yeah. baby. Let's go, baby. Uh, uh, earn your stripes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah! Boom, 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 bo
kind of rusty here, like a wet pipe. Get out of here! You were playing last night. I saw your Instagram. Oh no, no! Yeah. It I went in low to the server. Get so out of here! I swear, you I didn't play. play. Yeah, you did. I saw your Instagram. No, I just did that for hype reasons. Let's go, boy. Come on, boy. I'm just done in the hype. I bet you Swag's so weak at this game, bro. Swag probably is not have a gaming trick. Let's just say, Swag versus DJ Khaled one-on-one -on -one basketball, who's winning? Damn, that's a good match. You ready? You need to get this win. Yes! Tied up, baby! Three minutes, two minutes left, and it's a tie game. Oh my god, this, this kill matters the most. Oh uh, shit, I got a minute and 30 seconds left. Hey, you ain't gonna find me. I gotta tie this game, bro. I can't go out like that. How much time do I have? 30, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Find this guy, I'm gonna kill him. Where are you? Oh my god. Meet me in the hallway, bro. Meet, no. If you're a real one, meet me in the hallway. I'm in the hallway. I'm in the hallway. 11 seconds. I'm in the hallway. Where? So many hallways. Oh! We both got the W. <laughs> she would have won though. Honestly, you would have won if you didn't come out. I couldn't find you. Let's just. Maybe next time. So many sneakers. I do not know how to start this. I want mainly like dope sneakers to be in this area. Wax sneakers that I really don't care about. I mean, I care about all my shoes, but the ones that I don't wear so much up there because. I can't reach that much up there. Ah, oh, this is a very, very tough choice. In other news, New England is getting smacked, but I don't think the game is over yet. Tom Brady, Tom Brady is the GOAT. I wanted New England to win, but I mean, I don't really watch football. This is the first football game I've watched all year long. I don't really care. It feels good to not care, but if I had to pick, I'd go with uh, New England just because Tom Brady's from the Bay, you feel me? Draft top. They got it. There's a penalty. Wow, Patriots came back and tied the game. That's great. Look, I don't watch football, but I always tune in for the great games. I just bet $100 too, so. Your boy's coming up. All right, so after two days of organizing, cleaning, the sneaker wall is officially 100% done. My only concern before I show you guys is that it is completely filled right now, meaning that there is no open spot. So that means any sneakers I buy, there's gonna need to be some adjustments. But for the way it looks right now, it looks really beautiful and I'm, I really love the way I did it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Brand new, officially done sneaker wall. And literally when I picked up the camera right now, I farted. Look how beautiful and organized this looks. As I was going through all my shoes, I kind of noticed there's a few sneakers where I thought to myself, why do I own this sneaker? So I'm gonna show you guys the like a couple sneakers that I regret buying. So let's go ahead and just get into it because it's so freaking dope to me. Basically where I started was I wanted my Yeezys to be right in the middle. So we got the Yeezy V2s, 350s, the regular 350s right here. Over here, we got the 750s. And then from there, I decided to fill all this bottom area with all my Boost sneakers. So you just got Ultra Boost, NMDs. I wanted to keep it into the Kanye theme, so I put the LV Kanye's. And then I said to myself, you know what, since I'm putting the LV Kanye's right here, why don't I put the rest of my designer sneakers? So we got more designer sneakers going down to my Balenciagas. So that's that section. Then we went over to here, and I wanted one big row of all my favorites, which is the Jordan 1. These right here all look like it's pretty much the same sneaker, but they're actually all very, very different. So basically Jordan 1's going all the way to the bottom up there. I didn't put any Jordan 1's just because I wanted to put something that's not, it's just sneakers that I don't wear all the time. So I put some Kyrie's up there. So there's these are all my Kyrie's and Nike basketball shoes and a few other random Nike and other sneakers over there. Going over to more, Ky I have so many Kyrie's. That is some of the sneakers I regret buying is all these Kyrie's, but we'll talk about that later. Again, we got some Kobe's right here. The newly added Hyper Adapts, which I'm kind of falling in love with. The rest of these are just all Jordans. Also right here, OVO's. Basically, I kept all my favorite sneakers within 
the lower section and then the higher section is just stuff that I like but it's stuff that I won't wear that often. Let's check out the minion slippers for the house. The wall is beautiful but then there's something I had to eliminate off of the wall in order to make this all work and unfortunately I decided to cut out my van so I have no pairs of vans on the wall. I have all my vans right here temporarily until I find another place to put them until I find my couch for this area. Now to the part where it's gonna get interesting. Like I said, I was going through all these sneakers and I was thinking to myself when it came to some of these sneakers, why did I buy these? Here's a couple sneakers that I definitely regret buying. The A6 Wale intercontinental titles. Like I bought these because I'm a huge wrestling fan. I mean, there's reasoning behind it why I would buy this sneaker, but now looking back at it, I would never wear this sneaker. I've only worn it once and that was at SummerSlam in Brooklyn. These are probably are gonna get donated or something because I don't think there's really a resale value for these. I don't regret buying these because I don't like them. I regret buying them just because I've been buying a bunch of other sneakers that are a little expensive. So it's kind of like, I can't keep these in my collection because I've been spending way too much money on others. I think I'm going to return these newly released low top uh, 12s that came out. I was about to say 11s. I do like this colorway. I showed you guys myself uh, going to the store and buying these. Again, this is another shoe that I probably won't wear that much. It's really not worth it for me to have this sitting in my collection for a hundred and what, 80 bucks. But for now, we'll keep these in the closet because they look cool. You guys are probably going to call me crazy for this next one and I think I'm pretty crazy too because I haven't worn these yet but I kind of regret buying them because it's just I don't know when I would ever wear this colorway. The multicolor ultra boost. I wish there was way more multicolor. Like I feel there's way too much white here. There's too much white in the in the prime knit. I've I wanted these so bad, and then I bought them, and they this literally. I have this is the only ultra boost I haven't worn besides like the new ones that I just bought. I'm still gonna keep these in my collection for now, just because maybe I will find it, and just because I love boost and I rather collect boost over anything right now. Oh, by the way, I picked the winner of the Yeezy contest. Beans with two S's underscore. This is the official winner of the Yeezy giveaway. I got a lot of backlash from followers saying, oh, you picked them, but he already has Yeezys. I picked the winner random. All I did was go through everybody who retweeted it and I just went, scrolled, scrolled, scrolled and I picked one, picked one person and that was him. I didn't look what shoes they had. If they had Yeezys, if they didn't have Yeezys and he won. So for everybody that was hating on me, I'm sorry, but it was randomly selected. It wasn't based on if they had Yeezys in their collection or not. Yeah, that's how I did the contest and that's probably how I'm going to continue to do the contest. But I am going to do more contests soon because I had a lot of fun with this one and you guys got super excited for it. So more sneaker, ways coming, sneaker giveaways coming soon and if I miss any Crew Kicks videos from now on, more sneaker giveaways coming soon. I think I wore these like twice. These are the tubular whatever they're called, Adidas tubulars. They are a my Adidas so I custom made them. I tried to inspire them by those Pusha T Adidas but they really I mean the quality is great. The shoe comes out great but doesn't have boost so it's not that comfortable. Adidas, my Adidas actually messed up because I put, I wanted the, the tongues to say King Kais but they made it say Kais King. I don't think I will ever wear these again so this is another sneaker that I definitely regret buying. I regret buying these Kairachi Kairi 2s just because I have seven pairs of Kairi 2s and I never wear any of them. Never! I regret buying these Yeezy the Crep boots just because I bought them in the wrong size. The one time I wore them in New York City during sneaker con, the trip, not the actual event, they were killing my feet. My toes were like busting out this right here. My, my toe was like past this rubber right here. I took the insole out so they got a little bit more roomy, but I regret buying them because I got the wrong freaking size. I don't know, man. I can't. You can't really wear this unless you're in like a city that where it snows. So me wearing these in Cali, not gonna happen. These are gonna be my last sneakers that I regret buying. Pretty sure you guys are all gonna agree with me because I will never, ever, ever wear these. The Buzz Lightyear Vans. I bought these because I bought the Woody Vans. So I was like, you know what? I bought the Woody Vans. I'm gonna buy the Buzz Lightyear Vans as well. And I'm never gonna put these on my feet because these things are freaking hideous. The color combination on here is hideous. Don't get me wrong. I love Buzz Lightyear. Lightyear, not light gear. The shoe itself, the concept behind it is amazing like they even put the lines just like his own foot and they put like the little screws because it's like the toy I mean the color combo with the toy story like this is this is great I would love to buy this for my future son who's a kid who loves Disney too at my age I, I can't wear these the woody ones are wearable though the woody ones are definitely wearable this looks like Barney's sneaker right here yeah man that's it okay before the end before before the end yeah
I have not left my apartment all day long. I'm gonna shower tonight, I promise. And I cannot wait for sneaker con this weekend in Fort Lauderdale. If you guys didn't know, for the first time ever, we're gonna have a stage at sneaker con. And on the stage, we're gonna have an hour long show that consists of skits, interacting with you guys, giving away free stuff, free merch, free crep protect special guest and it's gonna be dope man we're gonna do an hour-long dream crew sneaker con show as well as do the regular meetup as well as sell the limited merch which i still haven't shown you guys so make sure you guys come out to fort lauderdale this weekend this saturday february 11th a lot of sneaker youtubers are gonna be there so you never know who's gonna pop up on stage with me i also have some huge information on my twitter today about an la event that we are having i can't give you guys too much info in this video but i'm sure tomorrow i will give you guys the full rundown and the vlog about this LA event we're doing on March 3rd. Thanks for watching Dream Crew. Stay classy, hype beast. Yes, that's a thing now. We would try to work it out. Every day was cheat day. Remember we were up in Philly. You told me you don't like cheesesteaks. You just rather go to Chili's.